here. Let's get Meister and Cloudy here. Of course, uh, Meister on Game and Watch, Cloudy on Pyro and Mentor. It's going to be really interesting to see how these two, how these two characters yeah. work against arguably one of the hardest characters to hit on the shield, knowing how Game and Watch. Oh, absolutely. Works that said, Game & Watch infamously struggles in sorties, so let's see if this might be part of the key to answering the riddle of how to deal with Meister's Game & Watch. Alright, Cloudy in the opening salvo of the match. Nice pair of down throw combos to start things off. And now it's Meister's turn to get some... Uh, Damage on with the throw combo, but Kelly responds right back. Very good on Cloudy to avoid, um, you know, letting Meister rack up damage with those follow up up airs that he loves to get. Yeah, honestly, look at the way that Cloudy is playing. He's not too aggressive, not too. He's a little bit passive here, just knowing that if you try to hit. I was going to say, if you oh, try what to a hit trade. If you try no, to so hit Game Watch with a shield and your aerial isn't safe, you will hit, hit a very, very tough punish that you Game Watch will unleash on you. So you can see, look at the way that Cloudy's just looking to punish Meister for pressing his buttons instead. It's more about what can I get against Game & Watch than more of like how fast can I hit Game & Watch. Ooh, that downer almost did it. That backer is going to do it. Good job by my Meister to prevent Cloudy from landing safely. Oh, yeah. Woo! And again, Pyra hits hard, and Game & Watch is a relatively very light character. I agree oh, yeah. with that. This character is paper thin as paper thin can get, and then you have to understand Game & Watch is one of those really light characters. But this is, like I said, this is what this is Cloudy's game plan. He knows if I try to hit Game & Watch with an unsafe Nair, unsafe, you know, down tilt, aerial, you name it, like that's going to be an up yet a shield, and there might be anywhere between what 15 to 40 percent that i might take from game and watch and from meister as a whole so might as well avoid it here and just try to stick to a, a pretty well solid neutral in the footies game you can see it in cloudy like he always looks to see how meister is pressing his moves first and then punish accordingly like so you can see how it's paying off for cloudy catching the landing here now it's onto pyra you have a little bit more range you have a little bit more knockback in terms of your hits but you well, have the really end smart that's a really smart switch by cloudy you can yeah. see Meister was readying himself for the, um, the Flame Blade uh, side yeah. B. The problem, and so yeah. And Cloudy like switched right back to Mithra. Ooh, oh, no soft is off yeah, ledge. Yeah. I always but tell people when you, hit, himself. when you get hit by Chef, you have to be careful not to panic because if you burn your jump, that's where things get really scary for a lot of players. So just keep using your special, your special recovery. In this case, it's Chroma Dust. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, Cloudy's been smartly using Chroma Dust pretty much every time he gets the up be successfully in order to account for Meister's uh, drift. Oh, that was a good bait there from Meister, trying to get the punish here and get the stock. But yeah. Cloudy, extending this lead right now. Yeah, like I said, Cloudy's oh. keeping it pretty simple. There's no reason to overextend yourself. You're the one trying to have the lead against Meister, and you understand, like, the character does suffer against oh. swords. But like I said, any unspaced aerial on that, and you'll lose it here. And unfortunately, a lot of Chef into Forward Till and Cloudy will lose that stock. That's still a leaf for Cloudy here at 81%. Yeah, the Meister right now, he's got just the open window right now here to punch. Good decision to shield that. Cloudy might be getting a little desperate here to try and close it out, and Meister might be able to push it. Ooh. Yeah, look look at that footsie game, bro. He waited Meister to make that really strong approach. Just pretty much just dashing away twice, and then he gets the grab as a punish. Great use on side special just to make the recovery, but also slowly oh. stalling it to avoid getting hit, because, yeah, even though that move is quite scary when you see it, Photon Edge doesn't necessarily live... Uh, Do you see the road. spacing oh, on no. Meister? Oh, we caught him at ledge. Yeah, yeah that, after you go for two just... minutes. There's just enough time to catch uh, Pyramithra as they're, like, trying to essentially like drift to ledge but before that the down air that meister got as cloudy was trying to photon edge in a, a relatively safe way back to ledge uh you know, high enough to basically count for meister not necessarily having as many ranged options he put himself in the perfect position just to be like oh i know where the actual body of fire mithra is going to be and slammed him for it yeah that you... was really smart you you like you have to remember like even though that movie that movie that move the move looks scary enough you can still hit her. It's kind of very similar yeah. to like 
trying to hit Sephiroth after Octoslash or trying to hit Fox or Falco after their Fox Fire. Like, it's pretty simple. You just have to kind of hit your opponent or have a move that lasts a while. And in Game & Watch's case, it's usually forward air, back air. If you have projectiles, you know, those will definitely stop Photon Edge. The move is scary when you see it, but in hindsight, you can definitely punish your opponent for going for that. And that's really good on Cloudy to understand. Like, I have to play safe as possible. Because you saw how strong Cloudy had yeah. that lead. And then one interaction or two, and Meister just brought it back. And that's why you see Cloudy play the way he's playing. He's playing the really strong footsies game and just trying to play and stick to neutral as much as possible. Well, just that Meister, no matter what, even if he's struggling to approach, always has that ledge trapping game on point. That was really the difference there. Yeah. If I were to, like, think of Game & Watch as a character, I would definitely say he's kind of like the anti-meta character. He necessarily isn't the strongest meta pick, but he's one of those characters that can definitely go toe-to-toe -to -toe against some of those stronger meta characters, and he gives them a run for their money. You know, characters like Wolf can have a trouble against Game & Watch. Characters like Lucina can have yeah. a hard time as well. Yes, the character suffers against swords. You can see that Cloud, Cloudy going from, you know, Pyra and Mithra, will play some prominence into that but it's all about how i play these footsies and you can see it in cloudy look at that i'm gonna let meister press all his buttons punish the end like and then i'll finally get my hits in well that was a weird interaction though like just the initial chef hit actually pushed cloudy to ledge but he still managed to recover see that's what I will scares say... me about game and watch the most it's just the interactions you can have against them oh nice bomb the trigger for the dash attack the cloudy was able to just get away and fire right back good f tilt Back here as well. Oh, he was calling out Meister landing priest unsafely there, but the up smash missed. Now Meister's in the driver's seat. Woo -hoo. What an escape by Cloudy. Yeah, look at Cloudy. Saves that jump, doesn't panic. Finds his way towards center stage. Unfortunately, dash attack will call out that landing from the platform. Good on Cloudy using that double jump. Look at that spacing. Punishes the yeah. dash attack. He sees that commitment and there's that forward. Oh, the back here, but even that far deep didn't do the deed. You have to try. You have to give it a cloud here, because he does have to play lame. Whether he likes it or not, you can't be too aggressive on a character like Game & Watch. What oh. a gentleman jab here, getting the third hit and finally just poking through. <laughs> That's like an only against Game & Watch kind of thing, just by virtue of his, his uh, weight, the damage, and the position. That was really cool. Yeah, and Cloud has a pretty strong understanding of like, okay, cool, I need to switch to Pyro for these specific interactions, and then deal use Mithra to use her movement and get around Game & Watch. I mean, again, Cloudy has to rely on the Photon Edge a lot, and it's really like every time it's like Meister so close to calling him out, just like with that down smash. Yeah. Patience and neutral for Flitzy's game. Honestly, it's pretty much what's the bread and butter here for Cloudy in this matchup. He's see, doing such a good job. Of... You were saying? Oh, so he's doing a good job of not overextending his advantage in uh, with, with Mithra right now. But even then, it just feels like Meister is a couple of interactions away from either evening this up or taking the lead. Yeah. That's how Meister's shield pressure with uh, Demon Watch works. But right now, oh, Cloudy fine. Oh, there's the bucket. Yeah, look at that. Look at that interaction. Look at how much Look at how much Cloudy is taking just from that interaction. And we're all and we're practically even. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cloudy knows this has to be a lame game. This is a strong footsies, the patient neutral kind of deal you have to go against character like Game Watch. There's a reason why, like, Game & Watch... Oh, oh the berry and the, yeah. call, the big F smash. See, see really what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the comments on YouTube are like, man, this is such a lame Pyra and Mithra. But it's like, no, you kind of have to respect this character. Like, honestly, you have to yeah. really respect Game & Watch, and I think Claudia has a strong understanding of that. That Again, might actually, Meister yeah. is ready for it. Yeah. I, it. It's seriously like Meister is just training himself. Like, you know what? The best place for me to take advantage and take over games against this character is when they try to side B me. But even then, an up smash. And we're back to even stocks. Let's see if Cloudy can pull this off. Yeah. They have punishment. Pretty good. I'll be out of shield option. And that's what Cloudy goes for sometimes. Just a slow, more guaranteed hits that he can get for it. Like, they're easily for it. So low commitment, low frame data. So you can just pretty much use that as much as possible. Uh, you just see Cloudy also use down tilt as well because it's relatively oh. safe if you space it properly. Well, Meister was trying to hide at ledge, but Cloudy managed to calm up some briefly to pile on a little more damage. This is really dangerous for Cloudy because all Meister needs is one sequence. Oh, he managed to swat away the bomb there. That's smart. Well, a nice landing there to back air. Meister 
going around. Oh, he almost landed straight on him with the down air. Yeah, Badu once again. Look at look, he's just waiting for Meister to come in here. Down tilt. See, he knows that move is safe. Oh. That's a forward throw. Kali's got to watch when he goes for side <sighs> B, but unfortunately, that's the back air, and Meister will take it too. Oh. And Meister could just reliably back air into almost the exact same spot, like a full hop back air every single time, because even though he might, you know, 